Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we are going to be making more marble stuff, specifically a marble elevator. Also, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. More on that later in the video. Last year, I made a video about my efforts to make a marble track. This video will be a continuation of that video. Uh, in that video, we just made the main track pieces and a bunch of different things to connect them up. So in this video, we will be making an elevator that will take the marbles back to the top of the track so we can have a continuous loop of marbles rolling around. Fun stuff. First thing I wanna do is document the process of all of my failed attempts. Uh, this piece is a little more complicated and mechanical, so my inexperience will show here. Um, but let's just start at the beginning. My first thought was to make a spiral elevator. The idea was to have a spinning spiral in the center and a few pillars around the outside that would provide a shaft for the marble to rise up. So the pillar would hold the marble in place as the spiral turns, forcing the marble to go up. The spiral part didn't take much tweaking to get right. It was relatively straightforward. I just had to make sure that the threads of the spiral had enough space between them to fit a marble inside. The real difficulty came in at the top where the marble had to exit the elevator and get back onto the track. This is where most of the iterations happened. Uh, what I ended up doing in the end was making this paddle on top of the spiral that forces the marble out onto this weird shaped um, piece at the top of the pillar. It's kind of weird, but all of these shapes as the spiral is turning um, force the marble back out onto the top of it. And then you can just hook up another track piece right there at the top and it will roll out onto it. Then the only thing left to do was have an opening slot at the bottom so the marbles can roll up and be picked up by the spiral. This one was a little tricky, but it only took a couple tries to get right. Um, it basically just has to allow the marble to roll into the very bottom of the pillar and it should be picked up just fine. Um, this piece also connects up to a normal track piece. So ideally you could take an existing track and put this elevator in the middle of it and it should still work. You can even have multiple eleva elevators around the track for added fun. And I got the spiral elevator to a point that it works. Um, I designed it to be hand turnable or compatible with a motor. Um, so there's a slot in the bottom if you wanna make it electric. But in the end, I just wasn't super happy with it. Um, I just had another idea and I wanted to take another crack at it. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes covering all sorts of different skills. They have a premium membership that gives you access to all of the classes. So if you're going on a creative journey, Skillshare can help you with all of the skills you want to learn. It's a great place to fuel your creativity and point you in the right direction. For example, if you wanted to learn more about leveling up your social media game, there are a bunch of Skillshare classes that tackle subjects like that. Um, I've actually been watching this class by Gary Vaynerchuk called Context is Key, Social Media Strategy in a Noisy Online World. Uh, it's really interesting and something that I need to take to heart because I kind of suck at the whole social media thing. Um, also, there are a ton of 3D modeling courses for a wide variety of programs like Blender and ZBrush. So whether you're trying to learn a new skill or improve your knowledge on an existing skill, Skillshare is an extremely useful tool. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning that there is no ads and they are always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The annual subscription is less than $10 a month. And since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a free trial of the premium membership so you can keep exploring your creativity. So thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So on to the next attempt. This time I wanted to make more of a chain elevator that scoops the marble up at the bottom and carries it back to the top um, in a bucket or something similar. Also, I'm going to make this one compatible with motors as well, so you can use electronics or just rotate it yourself, your choice. This is what I came up with. Um, there's a chain with spokes sticking off of it. The chain is powered by two gears and it has a wall on either side. The spokes will pass through the last piece of the track at the bottom, hitting the marble from underneath. Then hopefully the marble will be stuck between the two walls and allow the chain to carry it up to the top. Then it'll turn at the top and drop off on the other side. There are three main parts to the chain, the spoke piece that will have the marble riding on it, um, a side piece and a pin. They are assembled like this, where two side pieces sandwich the one end of the spoke with a pin through the holes. Then you just repeat this pattern, connecting them all together. That leaves you with a chain that looks like this. Then I put this little notch on the back of the spoke piece that allows the gear to use it and the spaces between them 
to push the chain along. I thought it worked pretty slick without being overly complicated to assemble. Also, you may notice me using some tools and some pretty barbaric methods to get this assembled. Uh, this is by design on my part. I like to have these pins be pretty tightly pressure fitted. That way I don't have to worry about using adhesive or them coming apart. But I know that not everyone wants to do it this way. So if that's the case for you, um, I would just scale the pin down by a super small margin and they will fit in there quite a bit easier. Um, that's kind of why I make these pins separate pieces so um, you can adjust them to your own tolerances. Also, I made the hole in the middle spoke piece slightly bigger than the side pieces. So ideally the pin should stick in the side pieces but rotate freely um, within the center piece. So you put all of that together and you get this, a chain with some small gears that makes a marble elevator. Um, but I should mention that this thing is still firmly in the prototype stage. Um, I'm just printing all of this out to confirm that it works because the final version is going to have a wildly different shape for all the walls. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that it's good before I put in the work of designing it just to find out that it's going to need a bunch of tweaking. So don't mind the tape along the sides, that's just holding the walls together um, since I had to split it to fit on the print bed that I was using. Also, I'm an idiot and didn't make the walls stick out far enough to actually cover the area with the marbles, which is a pretty crucial part since that allows them to um, stay on the elevator instead of just rolling off to the side. But when we're in the prototype stage, we just have to rig things together to see if they work. So in the spirit of that, this is what I have so far. As you can see, it will rotate completely, and if I rig something together to hold the marble in the middle, it will carry it along the path and it just kind of falls off at the top. So the next step from here is to control that falling a bit better and um, hopefully have it fall onto the track again. I'm planning on making something a lot more unique and less modular by the end of this project. Um, I'll share more of the details on this soon. Um, but for now, this one is not ready to be released just because it's not really in a working state on its own. But I will release the spiral elevator that I made and talked about previously. Um, the link to that will be in the description just in case you guys wanted to mess with that or implement it into your prints. Um, it does work. So um, if you print it, let me know how it works for you and I'll be excited to see that thing in the wild. Hey, so before you guys click off the video, um, I wanted to talk with you quickly because I know that only the real ones stick around this long into the video. So first of all, thank you. Um, and even though I haven't really been posting many videos lately, we have still been working hard on creating models for printing, uh, mostly Chelsea. She has been killing it with a ton of models. We've been posting several models a month on Patreon. Um, I'll put the link to that in the description below. All of the support there goes right back into allowing us to put out more models. So if you like what we do here, consider supporting us there um, and you'll get access to a bunch of great models. Uh, that support on Patreon also allows us to put out a bunch of great public models for everyone to enjoy. So we have a ton of free public models on things. I will put the link to that in the description as well. Well, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought about this down in the comments below. And until next time, keep creating.